Here we have two advertisements. They are posted on billboards. The first one is a tomato soup. It says it's yummy. It smells delicious. You'll want to eat more. It's yummy. It smells delicious. You'll want to eat more. The second one is about manure. Fertilizer. Fertilizante. Use what your plants need to grow green. Okay, so we find the phrases and what we're going to do is this. Combine the two words to make a funny ad. Combine both of them to make a funny ad. For example, to make it funny, we take one of the phrases from one of the ads and the pictures. It's yummy. It smells delicious. You'll want to eat more, but we put a different graphic, a different picture in it. And maybe we can have the, the, the ship saying something like this. What? How is that possible? This cannot be yummy. This cannot be something that I want to eat. So basically, what we have is pictures that announces the product. Sometimes we have phrases that are the slogan of the product you'll want to eat more this is the slogan remember that we have spoken about the slogans before in third grade the slogan is the phrase that identifies the product el slogan es la frase que identifica el producto como las papas sabritas a que no puedes comer solo una or phrases in english in English, for the Nike, Nike uh, tennis, Nike uh, sneakers, just do it. Nacidos fort, nacidos fuerte. That is another slogan, right? So these phrases that you identify with the product are slogans. And we have many that are very famous. Here we have a few. In US or in some other countries that speak English, you will find this is the slogan for Pizza Hut, the flavor of now, el sabor de ahora. American Express, this is a credit card. Esta es una tarjeta de crédito. Antes era, no deje su casa sin ella. Don't live home without it. Now they change that. Don't live life without it. No viva la vida sin ella. Este es muy famoso, es de este, de este producto, McDonald's. I'm loving it. Este es el que decíamos hace rato. This is the one that we were just saying. Nike, just do it. Esta manzanita mordida tiene un logo. O tiene un logo, pero que es este. Pero tiene un slogan que es este. Think different. So we can have several. Y nosotros vamos identificando los productos y vamos identificando también cuáles van a ser los slogans que les pertenecen. Hagamos nuestra siguiente actividad. Let's do the next activity. In the next page, page number 70. Eight, I think 78 what we have here in page number 78 is the picture of a girl it has the product here can you see it this is the product the girl is saying something Mexico's number one chocolate drink it's now available in the US and here we have the girl she's drinking the chocolate milk look at the face okay she's drinking that now what we are going to do is to take one of these phrases that we have on the right. Here on the right we have these phrases. Mystery, fun and adventure in one video game. Cool clothes for cool kids, just like you. Always on vacation with fiesta. Run like a cheetah with jungle tennis shoes. These four are slogans. Mystery, fun and adventure in one video game. Cool clouds for kill kids. Always on vacation with fiesta. Run like a cheetah with jungle tennis shoes. We're going to use one of these. We're going to write it or we're going to cut it and paste it. And we're going to paste it here in these empty spaces. Here is where we're going to paste them. Okay, here. And you're going to use the correct one for this. For chocolate drink is now available on on the US, in the US, you're going to use one of them. But what you're going to do as well is here, you're going to choose another slogan 
one of the three that you have and you're going to paste it here and you're going to make the drawing for that okay now the explanation in spanish lo que tenemos son cuatro slogans a nuestra derecha mystery fun and adventure in one video game cool clothes for cool kids always on vacation with fiesta run like a cheetah with jungle tennis shoes four slogans and we're going to use one of them vamos a usar uno de ellos y lo vamos a escribir en esta sección lo vamos a escribir en la parte que está en blanco en esta sección aquí lo vamos a poner y acá tenemos otro más ¿por qué? porque aquí vamos a poner el que sea el correcto para este producto y aquí vamos nosotros a hacer un anuncio en el que pongamos uno de los tres slogans que nos quedaron y vamos a hacer el dibujo ¿les parece bien? Vamos a hacer una pausa para que podamos hacer nuestro trabajo. We're going to pause the video and then we will continue. Let's do it. Here we have the pause. I hope that you're working on your advertisement, on the billboard. You're using a billboard. Let's see what you did. And let's see what is the correct answer for this. Normalmente cuando se hace esto en clase con un libro... Puede haber confusión entre los alumnos porque eh, toman su libro, uh, leen esto, pero no siempre leen la parte vital e importante, que es el nombre del producto. En este caso se llama fiesta y eso ocasiona que a veces se equivoquen aquí. Pero como estamos a distancia y en un medio electrónico, nosotros podemos ampliar mucho la selección y poder decidir cuál es el correcto y el correcto es este. Always on vacation with fiesta. Why? Because that's the name of the product. Porque este es el nombre del producto, fiesta. Por eso es que nosotros utilizamos el eslogan Always on vacation with fiesta. Ahora elijamos un eslogan diferente para hacer un anuncio. En mi caso yo elegí este que voy a poner aquí. Ok. Run like a cheetah with jungle tennis shoes. Y ahora hagamos un dibujo. Let's make a drawing. Let's do a drawing here. What I'm going to do is to start with something like this. Ok. Ok. Now I am doing shoes. Tennis shoes. So what I am going to do is something like this. Ok. Very nice, very good, okay, here are the soles, now what I'm going to do is to do this kind of spots, you know, vamos a hacer este tipo de manchas, porque los chitas son un felino que corre muy rápido y que tiene manchas, let's make it bigger, so I can color like this the rest of the spots, you know, something like this, something like this and so on now orange here and that's it i have my advertisement i can even put some kind of you know like uh was uh, movement movement things you know like doing something like this let me put it very really 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 okay something like this now you know like he's running really fast forward He's moving because he's running like a cheetah. And that's it. Y eso es todo en esta página. Espero que lo hayan podido terminar. Y vamos a la siguiente página. Do you remember that I was telling you that an advertisement is useful to announce a product but also a service? Un anuncio nos puede ayudar a identificar o anunciar dar comunicación sobre un producto, pero también un servicio. Veamos algunos ejemplos. Here we have four advertisements, four ads. Let's take a look at them. This one is in a newspaper. It can be read like this. Matt Tutor. Tutor needed. We are looking for a highly skilled person. Candidate must have a love for teaching. $12 an hour. Hey, I can go there. Now, the next one is in a magazine. In a magazine. ¿Dónde está el anuncio? ¿En qué, en qué medio? 
Magazine, una revista. Very good. It says, new warm jackets, $25 jacket, be trendy. SML and XL sizes, perfect for all kinds of weather. West End 2552, Hungary SP, Ontario, Canada. For more information, www.nyjacket.com. Very good. So, this is the pro this is something else, okay? Sorry, I was about to give away the answer. This one here is in a poster. Beverage, four dollar per glass. Lemon. Bitter lemon, I think is the name of this. Lemonade. Ten or fewer years required, fresh and cold. In a poster. Dog walker. Minimum 18 years uh, required, male or female, six times a day, six times a day, wage, $100 a week, experienced required, must love dogs, phone, 523-66115. So, you're going to write the letters S or P p in each of these boxes depending on the advertisement is this a service or a product what is it product we're going to pause the video and you're going to write the letters p or the letter s in each of them pause okay what is this one here is a service or is a product well it's a service Tutor de matemáticas. Se, re, se necesita tutor. Estamos buscando una persona altamente entrenada o hábil. El candidato debe tener amor por la enseñanza. 12 dólares la hora. Mm, una buena oferta, ¿no? The next one in the magazine. El siguiente en la revista. Is a service or is a product? Well, it is a product. Is a product. Very good. Now the next one, the lemonade. What do you say? Service or product? Well, if you said product, you're right. It's a product. Lemonade. And finally, the last one is also a service. Dog walker. Very good. That's it. Let's do the next one. Next page, page number 96. Look at the ads and complete the sentence below. Add number offers a vehicle. Add number offers a product made by hand. Add number it's very colorful and attractive. Add number has only one image. Okay, again, take a look at this. Which ad offers a vehicle? One or two? Which ad offers a product made by hand? Which ad is very colorful? And finally, which ad has only one image? Please answer the questions. Here we go. A pause on our video so you can answer the questions. You're going to write numbers one and two. That's it. Here we go. And here are the answers. Which ad offers a vehicle? Well, number one of, or number two. Number two is the correct one. ¿Qué anuncio ofrece un vehículo? El número dos, una bicicleta. Which ad offers a product made by hand? Well, number one. Here it says, handmade, hecho a mano. Which ad is very colorful and attractive? ¿Cuál anuncio es colorido y atractivo? Bueno, ahí es de, de opinión, ¿verdad? Pero obviamente no. Porque si los comparamos y sobre todo, si los vemos de lejos es el que llama más la atención. Finalmente, which ad has only one image? Y la respuesta es number two. ¿Cuál anuncio tiene solo una imagen? Ad two has only one image. Solamente tiene una imagen que viene siendo la bicicleta comparado con la cantidad de muñequitas que hay acá. Very good. So that's it. We have finished. I hope that you have done well. Espero que lo hayan hecho bien. Hemos terminado. Nos estamos viendo en nuestra siguiente sección. Bye bye.